All right, next time you're driving down the road, keep an eye out. That big rig next to you might not have a driver. I'm Brett the Cyber Guy. Follow me at cyberguy.com and see why hundreds of thousands of people get my newsletter for free. Well, my friend Jessica Holmes was the traffic reporter when I worked in local news in Los Angeles. She's now an anchor, and I recently asked her what she had learned about traffic and safety and all her time in the traffic helicopter. Well, she said something interesting. Never drive next to a big rig, especially a heavy tanker. So remember all that talk about self-driving semi-trucks? Well, they're not just talk anymore. They're a reality. As we speak, Aurora, a self-driving tech company, launched their autonomous trucks in Texas this month between Dallas and Houston with plans to expand to New Mexico and Arizona by the end of the year. That's right, while we're all going about our daily lives, these high-tech haulers quietly hit the roadways in the Lone Star State, cruising at speeds between 25 and 75 miles an hour. Now, you might be wondering, is this safe? I'm wondering. Well, Aurora says absolutely yes. Just before the launch, they dropped their 2025 driverless safety report. It is packed with details on everything they'd want you to know about these driverless semi-trucks. According to their safety report, Aurora is using a safety case-based approach adapted from industries just like aviation and nuclear to inform, guide, and determine that their technology is acceptably safe to operate on public roads. Now, they drill into the details on risk management, redundancies, cybersecurity, and the remote assistance stuff. They're calling it the most transparent safety report ever released ahead of driverless launches. But not everyone's convinced. The Owner-Operator Independent Drivers Association says that Aurora's safety claims feel more like marketing than real assurance. They're skeptical because the report leans heavily on simulation data and supervised testing without much actual real-world proof. And let's be honest, no simulation can fully predict what happens out on the open road. What do you think? Ready for all this? Or does it freak you out a little bit, kind of like it does me? Let me know in the comments below. More crazy cool tech like this at cyberguy.com where you can find out why hundreds of thousands of people get my newsletter for free.